name is Lottie Cooper and this is Harry Saves the Ocean by NGK and Sylvia Fay. On the crest of a wave and the wisp of the wind, Harry the happy mouse was packing his things. The family were excited. Let's laugh and let's cheer. Not far to go now. The beach is quite near. The coast is in sight. It's just down the track. Hooray, shout the family. It's nice to be back. The children smiled at the sight of the sea, while Harry and Katie unpacked with great glee. The happy mice raced to their holiday house. It was small and cosy, just right for a mouse. Harry set off on a sandy beach walk. I wonder who I'll find for a lovely beach talk. The sunlight danced on the clear blue sea. The waves hit the beach, so wild and free. Help me, please help me called a voice from the sea. There's a bag on my head and I just can't get free. Along the whale's back, the mouse swiftly sped and pulled off the bag from the mighty whale's head. Oh dear, said Harry. This seems strange to me. What on earth is a bag doing in the sea? It's dumped, said the whale. Fish are so sad thinking and dreaming of the home they once had. The ocean is full of rubbish, you see, and that is bad for them and for me. Your bags and your bottles, your bucket and spades, the trouble with plastics, they don't biodegrade. Biodegrade, said Harry. Explain this to me. What does it mean for you and the sea? Well, paper and cardboard and food rot away but plastic won't rot so it's here to stay it ends up in the ocean and clogs up the sea and that is a problem for you and for me oh dear said harry that will never do but if we join together we can help you i'm just a small mouse but i've got a big plan we will clean up the sea i know that we can excuse me seagulls can you help me Harry explained how much help they could be. It's a big job for one, but if we all lend a hand, we'll soon make a difference to the sea and the sand. Hello, Mrs Turtle. Can you help me? It will be a great job when we've cleaned up the sea. It's a big job for one, but if we all lend a hand, we'll soon make a difference to the sea and the sand. Hello there, Mr Puffin, and Pelican too. I've got a great plan for me. And for you, it's a big job for one, but if we all lend a hand, we'll soon make a difference to the sea and the sand. The plastic is harmful to you and to me. I'm sure that the crabs can help clean up the sea. It's a big job for one, but if we all lend a hand, we'll soon make a difference to the sea and the sand. Harry and Katie and the little mice too joined up with the rest of the beach clean up crew. Come on, said Harry, we can see this through. And every creature had something to do. They picked up the bottles, the packets and bags. They collected the cartons and packaging rags. Harry was happy and shouted to all, OK, everyone, now follow my call. Put the plastics in the red, the glass goes in the green. Wow, look what we've done. This beach is so clean. By stopping the plastic, Getting into the sea, we're saving the ocean, for you and for me. Harry looked happy. What a great day. All of the beaches should look this way. Spread the word to your friends. Birds of the sea, let's make our beaches and seas plastic free. The messenger seagulls set off on their quest, spreading the word from east to west. Clear up the plastic, it's dangerous you see. It's better for all who live in the sea. Harry waded out to explain what he'd done. Your beach is now so clean. So go and swim and have fun. Thank you, kind mouse, said the dolphins and whales. They saluted the helpers with waves of their tails. It was a big job for one, but we all lent a hand. We soon made a difference to the sea and the sand. On the crest of a wave, and the wisp of a wind. Harry and his helpers had done wonderful things. The end.